in this question it is given that when a polynomial fx is divided by x minus 3 and x plus 6 the respective remainders are 7 and 22 what is the remainder when fx is divided by x minus 3 into x plus 6 as i have clearly told in the name of the video that my solutions will be different from normal solutions in this case also i will give you the smart way of solving but first you will have to understand the normal way also normal way should also be known to the student for the depth knowledge of subject smart ways are useful for competitive level examinations first i'm going to do this question by normal way as it is clearly given in the question that fx when divided by x minus 3 remainder is 7 and keeping the remainder theorem in mind i can say that f3 will be 7 and when fx is divided by x plus 3 remainder is 22 means f minus 6 is equal to 22 note that these two conclusions i have got keeping the remainder theorem in mind and now he is asking what is the remainder when fx is divided by this into this that is he is asking when fx will be divided by x minus 3 into x plus 6 what will be the remainder suppose when you divide fx by this quotient is suppose gx suppose the remainder is ax plus b then clearly fx is equal to x minus 3 into x plus 6 into plus note that i have supposed the remainder as a linear expression because we know that when you are dividing by a second degree expression the remainder is always of degree less than 2 because it is of degree 2 if i am dividing by third degree then remainder will be maximum of degree 2 and because this is of second degree hence remainder will be of maximum one degree therefore i have supposed the remainder as ax plus b and now you have to find the value of a and b clearly f3 is 7 now put x equal to 3 on both sides the benefit of writing 3 for x will be this whole will become 0 and we don't know the value of gx but it will not create any problem because for 3 it is 0 0 into anything is 0 and f3 is known to you as 7 hence i get 7 is equal to 3a plus b and now put x equal to minus 6 and what you will get because f minus 6 is 22 hence i say 22 is equal to minus 6a plus b and using these two we can easily find the value of a and b we will get 9a equal to minus 15 that is a equal to minus 5 by 3 and therefore the value of b will become 12 hence we can say remainder is equal to minus 5 by 3x plus 12 agree that it is correct and not a difficult way also 
बट स्मार्ट वे इज बेटर द स्मार्ट वे विल बी बेटर इन दिस सेंस ऑल्सो दैट है क्वेश्चन बी स्लाइटली मोर एक्सटेंडेड फॉर्म ऑफ दिस दैट इज सपोज है डिवाइड बाय एक्स माइनस थ्री इंटू एक्स प्लस सिक्स एंड वन मोर एक्सप्रेशन इज ऑल्सो देयर इन दैट केस दिस वे विल गिव यू ए लेंथी सोल्यूशन बिकॉज इफ देर आर थ्री टर्म्स हेयर इन दैट केस रिमाइंडर विल बी ऑफ सेकेंड डिग्री एंड द क्वेश्चन विल बिकम लेंथी स्मार्ट वे इन दिस केस इज स्लाइटली बेटर एंड इन दैट केस स्मार्ट वे विल बी मच बेटर सी वट इज माई वे फर्स्ट ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड वट आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू आफ्टर यू हैव अंडरस्टूड दैट वे फॉर डूइंग दिस क्वेश्चन यू विल नॉट हैव टू राइट इवन ए सिंगल वर्ड ऑन द पेपर जस्ट इन माइंड ऑल्सो यू कैन डू दिस क्वेश्चन सी इन स्मार्ट वे ऑल्सो I'll be using this concept that because f x when divided by x minus three gives the remainder seven, hence I can say f three is seven and similarly f minus six is equal to twenty two. We'll do the question by taking cases now. Suppose when f x divided by this into this. remainder is this then only for clarity i am writing otherwise once you have understood you will not be required to write anything on the paper to solve by this way fx can be written as x minus 3 into x plus 3 into gx plus Supposing the first choice as correct choice, and let us see whether we are getting f three equal to seven by taking this as correct choice. If I put x equal to three, I get minus five plus twelve, seven. And for surety, I would like to see whether this also gives. F minus six is twenty-two. Also, put x equal to minus six. You'll get twenty-two. Hence, I can say A is the correct choice. We have got the answer, but for clarity purpose, I will show that B, C, and D are wrong. Suppose I want to check this. In that case, I will have to write minus seven by three x plus fourteen. and let us find the value of f3 i should get f3 equal to 7 see whether we are getting it for x equal to 3 this whole will become 0 you will get minus 7 plus 14 that is i will get 7 correct and now let us check minus 6 also for x equal to minus 6 you get 28 here actual answer is 22 hence i can say this is surely wrong that is when you are doing the question in mind simply see that in which of the remainder by putting x equal to 3 you are getting 7 and x equal to minus 6 you are getting 22 it is clear that only in this case when you put x equal to 3 you get 7 and For x equal to minus six, you get twenty-two. This is happening only in first choice. In all other choices, both these conditions are not being found to be true. In this question, it is given to us that p x be a polynomial of degree greater than two. If p x leaves remainder a and minus a when divided respectively by x plus a and x minus a then the remainder when p x is divided by x square minus a square is as in the previous question for clarity purpose again i will do this question first by normal way 
then I will do the question by smart pay. As in the previous solution I had done, similarly here also, suppose Px is the polynomial and when it is divided by x plus a according to given information, remainder is a and when px is divided by x minus a remainder is minus a is given to you and you have to find when px will be divided by x minus a into x plus a what will be the remainder suppose remainder is ax plus b and when px is divided by x plus a remainder is a according to remainder theorem means that p minus a is equal to a and using remainder theorem here also we will get the information that p a is equal to minus a and to find the remainder ax plus b suppose first that quotient is gx here and because we know that dividend is always equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder therefore px becomes x minus a into x plus a into gx plus ax plus b and because p minus a equal to a is given to you putting x equal to minus a in this equation i get p minus a this whole becomes 0 a into minus a plus b and because p minus a is a hence i get a equal to a into minus a plus b similarly using the information that p a is equal to minus a putting x equal to a in this whole equation i get p a is equal to a a plus b that is i get minus a equal to a a plus b solving these equations we can easily get the value of a and b clearly value of b will be 0 and the value of a will be minus 1 by solving these equations we will get and hence you will get the remainder as minus x because putting a equal to minus 1 and b equal to 0 we get the remainder as minus x but it is slightly lengthy as in previous case i had explained let us do the question by using choices if remainder is minus 2x minus 2x is there then if i want to check this choice is correct or not i know that p minus a should be equal to a if i put x equal to minus a i get 2a which is not correct because for x equal to minus a i must get a but according to this choice the value of p minus a will be 2a hence rejecting this case taking the second choice minus x if remainder is minus x then according to this p minus a will be equal to a by putting x equal to minus a in this whole equation p minus a will be a and by putting x equal to a i will get minus a that is p a will be minus a and i wanted this and this to be true and both are being satisfied by taking the remainder as minus x hence b is correct c is obviously wrong d is again obviously wrong 
in this question it is given to us that if a plus b plus c is zero then a square plus a b plus b square is equal to you have to find the correct choice first i will do this question by normal way then i will do this question by smart way we know that if a plus b plus c is zero then a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3abc is equal to 0 and we also know that a cube plus b cube is a plus b into a square minus ab plus b square i am going to use this formula in this part what i will get a plus b into a square minus ab plus b square plus c cube minus and because a plus b plus c is 0 hence a plus b can be written as minus c minus c into a square minus ab plus b square plus c cube minus that is i get a square minus ab plus b square minus c square plus 3ab equal to 0 but actually i have to find the value of a square plus ab plus b square hence a square plus ab plus b square becomes c square minus ab Hence, we have got the B choice as correct choice. The smart way of doing this question will be, let us take some value of ABC. The main thing is this condition must be satisfied. Let us take say A equal to 0, B equal to 1 and C equal to minus 1. Clearly for these values, this condition will be satisfied. And putting these values here, this thing becomes 0 plus 0 plus 1, that is 1. And now let us see which choice gives the answer 1 by putting these values. Clearly, this is giving the answer 3 for these values, hence, this is sure to be wrong. This is also clearly wrong because only that choice can be correct in which the answer is coming to be 1 and now I have to check about B and C and for these values this is also giving answer 1 and this is also giving answer 1 such type of situation sometimes arise but we have solution for this also according to our argument so far this is sure that a and d cannot be correct and to get the surety about b and c let us take some other case say a equal to 1 b equal to 0 and c equal to minus 1 for this case the value of this becomes 1 and now c with these values out of these two which one gives the answer 1 clearly for these values this gives the answer 3 and this gives the answer 1 hence b becomes the correct choice first i will do this question by normal way and afterwards i will do this question by smart way and the solution by smart way will be containing only one word that is i mean smart solution will be containing only one word and you will get the answer but first i am doing this question by normal way this given expression can be written as 1 upon 1 plus p plus pr because pqr is 1 hence q inverse becomes pr plus 1 upon 1 plus q plus 
pq and this becomes 1 upon 1 plus r plus qr it is 1 upon 1 plus p plus pr it is clear that if i multiply numerator denominator by r here denominator these two denominator will become same c r upon r plus qr plus pqr plus 1 upon r plus qr clearly now the denominators are same because pqr is 1 hence it is 1 upon 1 plus p plus pr and r plus 1 upon 1 plus r plus qr and to make these two denominators same i multiply numerator denominator by p i get 1 upon 1 plus p plus pr and p into r plus 1 upon p plus pr plus pqr pqr is already given to us as 1 hence i get 1 plus pr plus p upon 1 plus pr plus p answer is 1 it is actually a bit tough question but the smart way of doing this question will be because it is given that pqr is equal to 1 and i know that answer is going to be a constant i take any value of pqr only this condition must be satisfied the simplest case is take pqr all the three equal to one and therefore in that case this whole will become one upon one plus one plus one one upon one plus one plus one one upon one plus one plus one that is answer will be 3 by 3 answer is 1. In this way, we have got the answer 1 very easily. In this question, the value of A, B and C are given as these. And you have to find the value of X in terms of A, B and C. It seems to be a very difficult question. You can see very easily, this is the solution given in the book from where I had taken this question. Clearly, it is a very difficult solution. But actually, this question can be done in a very easy way. Now, I tell you the proper way of doing this question. Before I do the question by proper way, first let me remind you a very popular question you must have studied in 10th class that suppose alpha plus beta is 5. Beta plus gamma is 3 gamma plus alpha is say minus 1 and he says find the value of alpha beta and gamma the proper way of doing this question is you must have studied that first we add all the three i get 2 into alpha plus beta plus gamma equal to 7 that is alpha plus beta plus gamma equal to 7 by 2 and putting the value of alpha plus beta here you can get the value of gamma putting the value of ga beta plus gamma here you can get the value of alpha similarly you can get the value of beta also the similar thing i am going to use in this question you can see very easily this can be written as x plus y upon xy equal to 1 by a y plus z upon yz equal to 1 by b x plus z upon fz equal to 1 by b y plus z upon yz equal to 1 by c this implies that 1 by x plus 1 by y equal to 1 by a 
वन बाय एक्स प्लस वन बाय जेड इक्वल टू वन बाय बी वन पॉइंट वाई प्लस वन पॉइंट जेड इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट सी दिस इंप्लाइज दैट एंड फॉर सिंप्लिसिटी आई राइट वन बाय एक्स एज एल्फा वन बाय वाई एज बीटा वन बाय जेड एज गामा वन बाय ए एस कैपिटल ए वन बाय बी एस कैपिटल बी एंड वन बाय सी एस कैपिटल सी एंड दीज इक्वेशन बिकम एल्फा प्लस बीटा इक्वल टू कैपिटल ए एल्फा प्लस गामा इक्वल टू कैपिटल बी एंड बीटा प्लस गामा इक्वल टू कैपिटल सी नाउ एडिंग ऑल द थ्री आई गेट टू इंटू एल्फा प्लस बीटा प्लस गामा इक्वल टू ए प्लस दैट इज आई गेट एल्फा प्लस बीटा प्लस गामा इक्वल टू ए प्लस बी प्लस सी बाय टू एंड एज आई हैव टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स इन अदर वर्ड्स आई हैव टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एल्फा वंस एल्फा इज फाउंड एक्स कैन बी फाउंड वेरी इजिली and because beta plus gamma is c hence i get alpha plus c is equal to a plus b plus c by 2 that is i get alpha equal to a plus b minus c by 2 and to get the value of x put back the value of alpha a b c in terms of original symbols clearly it is 1 by x equal to 1 by a plus 1 by b minus 1 by c upon 2 that is x is equal to 2 abc upon bc plus ac minus ab you can see very easily here also the answer is 2 abc upon bc plus ac minus ab but this way of solving is too much lengthy and difficult in this question it is given that if x plus y plus z is 2s then what is the value of this equal to first i will do this question in proper way then i will do this question in smart way agreed proper way itself is not difficult but still you will like the smart way also given equation can be written as s minus x plus s minus y plus minus z equal to 0 and we know the formula that if a plus b plus c is 0 then a cube plus b cube plus c cube is 3 abc and keeping this formula in mind i can write s minus x whole cube plus s minus y whole cube plus minus z whole cube equal to 3 into S minus x into S minus y into minus z. That is, I get S minus x whole cube plus S minus y whole cube minus z cube plus three z into S minus x into Zero. Hence, I can say s minus x whole cube plus s minus y whole cube plus three z into s minus x into s minus y equal to z cube. This is not a difficult solution. Still, when I will do this question by smart way, you will like that way. Main thing is. I have to find the correct choice because s is any number. 
I take the value of s as 0. It makes no problem to me. For every value of s, the answer is going to be same. If I take the value of s as 0, the question becomes x plus y plus z equal to 0 is given to you and you have to find the value of minus x cube plus minus y cube plus 3 into minus x into minus y into z. You have to find the value of this. This becomes a question. And to do this clearly because x plus y plus z is 0, therefore x cube plus y cube plus z cube is equal to 3xyz. This conclusion I have got from here. And I have to get the value of this. Looking at it, first we simplify this. I get minus x cube minus y cube plus 3xyz. Clear? If I take x cube y cube on this side, I get the value of this as z cube. Hence, I say a is the correct choice. In this question, it is given to us that if a plus b plus c is 0, then what is the value of this? Agreed, this question itself is also not difficult, but you will like the smart way also. First, I am doing the question by normal way. Because a plus b plus c is 0, hence I can say a square plus b square plus c square plus 2 into ab plus bc plus ca equal 0. Hence I can say ab plus bc plus ca equal to minus 1 by 2 into a square plus b square plus c square. And now coming to this question, given expression is a square plus b square plus c square upon, if you open this, it is easy to see that you will get 2 into a square plus b square plus c square minus ab minus bc minus ca. It is very easy to see that after opening you are going to get this thing and taking this value of ab plus bc plus ca and putting it here you will get a square plus b square plus c square upon 2 into a square plus b square plus c square and minus number 2 into a square plus b square plus c square by putting this value of a b plus b c plus a here I have got this expression and I get a square plus b square plus c square upon 3 into that is I get the answer 1 by 3 hence I can see c is the correct choice. Agreed, it is correct, but you will like the smart way also when I will do it. See, for doing the question by smart way, I have to take ABC such that A plus B plus C is 0. I take the value of A as 1, B as minus 1, C as 0. I get the numerator as 2 upon and here you will be getting 4 plus 1 plus 1 that is 2 by 6 1 by 3 hence we have got the answer C. Agreed these type of ways are not ethically correct but who takes care of ethics the main thing is to get the marks and for getting marks this is absolutely correct one thing more I would like to tell you that while doing practice at home you should try to do the question by proper way also because unless you do the question by proper ways you will not learn mathematics but in examination I agree that the first thing is to get marks everything else is useless therefore in examination this is fully correct but for doing practice at home I would suggest that do 
the question by proper way also again in this question also it is given that if x plus 1 by x is equal to p then the value of x to the power 6 plus 1 by x to the power 6 is equal to first i will do this question by normal way afterwards i will do this question by smart way to get the value of this first i square both sides i get x square plus 1 by x square plus 2 is equal to p square that is x square plus equal to p square minus 2 and to get the value of this now i take cube on both sides and keeping this formula in mind that a plus b whole cube is a cube plus b cube plus 3ab into a plus b keeping this formula in mind i am going to proceed further taking cube on both sides i get x power 6 plus 1 by x power 6 plus 3 x square into 1 by x square into x square plus 1 by x square equal to p square minus 2 whole cube and i get x power 6 plus 1 by x power 6 plus 3 and already calculated the value of this as p square minus 2 hence i get 3 into p square minus 2 is equal to p to the power 6 minus 6 p to the power 4 plus 12 p square minus 8 hence the value of x power 6 plus 1 by x power 6 becomes p to the power 6 minus 6 p to the power 4 plus 12 p square minus 8 minus 3 p square plus 6 that is we got the answer as x power 6 plus 1 by x power 6 as p to the power 6 minus 6 p to the power 4 plus 9 p square minus 2 hence it is easy to see that d becomes the correct choice accurate this is correct but not good way smart way is much better accurate ethics don't allow us to use such ways because these things shatter the whole purpose of taking the examination but again and again i will say that who takes care of ethics in examination the main purpose of everybody is to get marks yes while doing practice at home you must do the questions by proper ways also the smart way of doing this question is this is given and you have to find the value of this i take the value of x as 1 and therefore the value of p becomes 2 and the value of this becomes 2 and now let us see in which case by putting p equal to 2 you are getting 2 because the value of this is 2 it is obvious that by putting p equal to 2 this is not going to give the answer 2 this is surely not going to give the answer to obviously because all the terms are positive it is obvious that by putting p equal to 2 here 2 to the power 6 minus 12 2 to the power 6 is 64 minus 12 it is not 2 now it is not required to check the value of p equal to here that whether it is giving the answer 2 or not but still for your clarity and confidence i can show you that this will give the answer 2 this is giving 64 minus 6 into 16 plus 9 into 4 minus 2 that is 64 minus 96 plus 36 minus 2 
clearly this is equal to 64 minus 60 minus 2 that is 2 in this question it is given that if x plus y plus z is 0 then what is the value of this in this question again the normal way is not difficult but still you will like the smart way also first i am doing the question by normal way because x plus y plus z is 0 Hence, I can say x plus y equal to minus z. This operation I am doing, keeping this thing in mind. Now, squaring both sides x square plus y square plus 2xy equal to z square. And I get x square plus y square minus z square equal to minus 2xy similarly the value of this will become minus 2yz the value of this will become minus 2xz hence i will get 1 upon minus 2xy plus 1 upon minus 2yz plus 1 upon minus 2zx this is equal to minus 1 by 2 1 upon xy plus 1 upon yz plus 1 upon zx minus 1 by 2 and x plus y plus z upon xyz and it is 0 because x plus y plus z is 0 given to you hence we have got the correct choice as d and to do this question by smart way i will take the value of x y z such that x plus y plus z is 0 the simplest case you may suggest that take x equal to y equal to z all the three as 0 but in that case the whole question will become undefined because 0 is not allowed in denominator in mathematics therefore all the three equal to 0 is not allowed and else you may suggest that take x equal to 1 y as minus 1 and z equal to 0 x equal to 1 y as minus 1 z equal to 0 still it is not allowed because for this value this is defined but these two are undefined hence this is also not allowed therefore i have to take such values such that the question should be defined i take the value of x as 1 y as 1 and z as minus 2 it makes no problem to me because this will not create any problem and by taking these values the question reduces to 1 upon 1 plus 1 minus 4 plus 1 upon 1 plus 4 minus 1 plus 1 upon 4 plus 1 minus 1 that is I get minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 answer is 0 hence we have got the answer as D.